What's up guys and girls, how are we all doing? Welcome to my contracting series. How are we all? I hope we are all having a good day. Um, right, well if you remember in my last video, I um, took on a contract for a farmer um, at the north side of the map. Um, well, north... Um, west, northwest. Um, so we went, headed up there, and did some uh, mowing. Then we had to ted it, then row it, then bale it, and then collect it and take it to where it needed to be. So done that. Um, ended up having two complete um, auto stack trailers um, full and four left over now I phoned up the um, owner of the field and um, basically he said two trailers was enough and we could do with whatever we liked with the four bales that are left over so I have kind of been forced to spend a bit of money and uh, we are going to collect them and um, we're just going to store them down at the yard for now um, not sure whether we're going to sell them or actually keep them for if or when we ever get some um, animals or anything maybe down on our on our yard I don't know I might just sort of stick to contracting might be the way forward I think right so we're gonna stick that on um, I just wanna hop out for a second so as you can see here this trailer we have here um, this is kind of a if you can, I don't know if you can just about see, we can attach bits and pieces to this. So we can turn it into a, uh, a flatbed as it is now, or it can be converted into a, um, a trailer where we can put store uh, or cart grain and, and stuff like that. And it, it goes up higher and higher in the sides to make it more and more um, capacity. So I thought that we'd go f we'd go for this. Um, all the other bits and pieces will be put into storage. Um, I've told them just to that I'll come and collect them at a later date. That'll go into into the yard somewhere safe. So we can um, just concentrate on the um, lift that up there for a second. Yeah, so we can just concentrate on using the uh, flatbed for now I think I don't think we don't really need anything anything else there's a possibility that to do some maybe do some carting for somebody uh oh scratched the trailer already that's not good is it because that front weight was in the way that's what I mean. That that's, that still belongs to me. That 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 weight. Um, oh, I wonder if I can actually attach that to the back and still. Uh, let me see. Um, oh, well, I bet that's the other way, actually, isn't it? Of course it is. Do you know what? These bales aren't really going to weigh anything. I don't think. Well, it's not going to weigh anything because they're going to weigh something. Um, but I don't think that with the, the tractor we've got here, I think we're going to be alright. I think we're going to be alright. So there we go. This is our new little setup here. Let me just hop out for a second. So you can get to see what we've got going on here. So here we go. Look, this. There she be. There she be. That's actually... It looks really nice. Uh, you know, I'm glad I went for the John Deere front loader as well. And um, this little spike here, 
It's just, as you can see, it's got the two big spikes on the on the bottom, but it's just got that little spike up there, sort of uh, near to the top of the uh, of the fork of the actual back fork itself. That's just so it can hold a second bale um, nicely. So yeah, they're quite. That's that's really cool. I like. It. It's a nice little setup. That is a. It's a really really nice little setup we've got there. I am really, really happy with that, actually. So that's it. Let's make our way down to the field. So we're on field... Um, I think it was field one, or plot one. Um, going out of the way. So we're just going to go up there and collect these bales. It just seems a bit of a... A bit of a waste, you know. I mean, I could have said no, and the, and the farmer would have probably gone down and collected them himself, possibly. But in all fairness, I just think he was a bit busy and just wanted just to go. Do you know what? If you want them, have them. And I went, yes, please. Um, you know, because it's always that the, they'll be handy to have if we ever need. Um, need some quick money we've got just a few bales that we can we can sell I mean I think there's there's only four the traffic around here is so slow um, yes so I think we've got there's four up on the field right then so we have to go left here and then there's a right turn and just down there where we need to be Indicator off. There we go. And it should just be the first field um, on the right-hand side that we come to, I think. The thing is, when I came up here to actually do the mowing and the baling and everything, it was dark. And I mean pitch black. If you haven't watched the um, that uh, video or vlog, whatever you want to call it, uh, you should head over and watch it. It's, uh, it gets quite interesting. Right then, so here we go. We are going to drop this trailer in the middle of these four bales here. We're going to go like so. Stop that there. There we go. Awesome job. Right, and now what I want to do is line up with this bale. There we go, that's the first one on. Now I want to try and I load up with this one. So basically what I'm trying to do here is I just want to nudge this one so we know it's straight. So we'll just lift back that up slightly. And we're going to go forward. There we go. And we'll straighten that out. We'll drop that down to the floor. Now, hopefully. That should be all nicely latched on, hopefully. You notice that I go very quiet whilst bailing, <laughs> whilst collecting bales. Right, here we go. Let's get these ones on. There we go, that's those two done. Now, yeah, that's still 
Right, so we'll drop that down. We've got two more to collect now. Right, so hopefully we'll get this lined up nicely. Hit that one. And let's line up with this one. We'll give that a nice little little tap and we can just load that up like that there we go make sure our um, forks are straight there we go another two on So we are going to um, take these back to the back to the yard, and uh, we're going to stack them in a shed, I think. For now, and there we go. Awesome job. So let's quickly just get out let's just strap these down there we go and we can probably get one on the back there I'm not sure can we get one on the front here there we go all lovely and loaded I like that perfect let's now we've got to do get this back up to the yard now there we go perfect right let's spin this round we can just drop that down lift the forks up slightly yep everything's looking good Let's get it back to the back to the yard. But when I get back to the back to the yard, I think we'll um we'll probably finish the um finish this video and um I am going to make a few a few phone calls to the locals and I will gonna see if there's any any contracts um available. Um I do believe we can actually go online and check for contracts. Um, I presume it works on a basis where you apply for them and then you are put into a shortlist and the farmer owner of the land um, will then make a decision on who he wants to um, to do it um, I think the prices are are already there on what the farmer is likely to offer Yeah, so basically all I'm doing at the moment, all the money I'm making on contracts, I've kind of spent on this contract. That contract has just bought us this front loader, the bale spike, and this trailer. So, you know, I think we're we're going we're going pretty good, I think. It's all it's all going it's all going fairly well at the moment. So here we are coming up to the yard now. Let's get this in loaded and we're well, not loaded. Um, get it, put it into a into this shed down here, and uh, in the workshop next to the shed there. That's where the the other parts to the trailer will be. There we go. I might see if I can get this concreted down here in the very near future. Right, we'll park this into here, like that. That's gone too far. Come on. You know what? That was atrocious. So 
There we go, lovely job. We can put that there. And then the tractor, we can probably get the tractor. Squash them bushes down, get the tractor in there. Lovely. Happy. Happy with that. There we go. The the um It's growing. The the business is is growing. So we now we started off with just just having this shed and this field round here and one tractor. So now we can do any little transporting um, contracts if anything like that comes up. We can do um, cultivating uh, contracts with that um, subsoiler there. And we can change, uh, put care wheels on or change the sides on the trailer and buy this little thing here. So I think it's, it's starting to look pretty good. I'm really happy with that. So, but anyway, that's going to be it from me. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you have, don't forget to drop a like and also drop a comment as well. Let me know what you're thinking of um, of these uh, these uh, vlogs or videos. Um, let me know what you think of the uh, my little business I got running here at the moment, and uh, I'll be happy happy to um, answer you any of your uh, questions. So, right guys, that's going to be it from me. Cheers for watching. Take care.